Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is me, Waves from Slidner here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to create dialogues using alert dialogue.builder class. Now there are two ways to create dialogues in Android. One, using the dialogue fragment. Two, using this older approach which is alert dialogue.builder class. If you guys haven't seen the previous one, please go back on my playlist and check the video called Android dialogue fragment. So now let's get started with this. So first thing, let's talk about what is the dialogue. Here, if you guys notice, a dialog object is responsible for managing the internal state like setting this title, maybe setting a custom view, handling the buttons over here like yes and no and it's accessible inside the onCreateView and the onCreateDialog method. You can use the getDialog to access this object and set properties on that using the set methods like set title, set view kind of stuff. So now let's talk about this dialog in a little more detail. First of all, in your life cycle for the fragment which is your dialog fragment. You have the onCreate that's being called. Then what you have is the onCreate dialog method that gets called. And ultimately what you have is your onCreate view. So inside this onCreate dialog, you can surely construct your own dialog. But if you do want your older, I mean the newer way of working with things using the dialog fragments, then you use the layout inflator inside the onCreate view method. So you have a choice to make either use the older APIs, make the dialog inside the onCreate dialog or use the newer dialog fragment approach and make the layout inside your onCreate view method. So you guys in the comment boxes below, let me know which method you prefer over the others. And now let's talk about how uh, you can use dialog fragment like a normal fragment. But first of all, can you do that? Well, yes you can. Now what do I mean by this? Now take a look. Here I have an activity and what I have inside is a normal dialog fragment. But I can also do something like this, which means I can make the same dialog fragment appear as a normal fragment inside my activity instead of popping up like a dialog over here. So if you want to do this, now first question you probably have is why would you do this? Well, if you have a dialog fragment with a lot of content on a small screen like a mobile phone screen, that content inside a dialog is not really going to look that great. So probably on a tablet, you can make it look like a dialog and on the mobile phone you can make it look like a fragment and how can you do this there are three things you need to remember first use an on create view based layout don't use the dialog class or the other dialog dot builder classes for doing this second the on create dialog method first of all is not called when you're doing this inside your activity then the get dialog method returns null if you're adding the dialog fragment like this inside your activity. So these are the three little things that you need to ensure. And that is why when you see any sample on developer.android.com or any website, they always get the dialog object by saying get dialog and then they test it for null by saying if dialog not equals to null, then only do this. And you always wondered why would it return null because this is the scenario where it returns null when you have the thing inside your activity directly as a fragment well it's just like adding any other normal fragment get a fragment manager begin a fragment transaction and add it to the activity kind of stuff so in the next video we're gonna work this out and we're gonna play with the methods of the alert dialog dot builder class in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please like this video share this video with your friends and colleagues who are struggling to learn android and in the comment boxes below, let us know your thoughts regarding which method you prefer. In the meantime, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.